Delano with Free to Be Fit and today we're doing four exercises. It will be a front squat, reverse pull up on the rings, deadlift, and then um, elevated push ups. We're doing four rounds, 15 reps each. We, the first round is the warm up, so you will, doing, you will be doing it at the weight that is about 65% of your max rep. And then you will add on, depending where you start, 10-15% of the weight with every round. We're doing it in a superset fashion, so it will be front squat, reverse pull-ups, pull four times a round, and then you can take a one minute break or not, depending how tired you are, and then you'll do the deadlift with an elevated push-up. To get in the front squat position, make sure that your shoulder, your feet are slightly width apart. You're really engaging your abs, your glutes are tight, shoulders back and down. You can put the weight right now, this is just for demonstration purposes, but you will start with your 65% max rep weight. What you're doing, you start and you're doing the second part of the deadlift really. You're going here, you're going down, you're squatting. Picking up the bar, and it, it will be slightly wider than your foot stance. Again, we're looking back on the foot stance, and our feet are slightly out, so we're engaging our inner thighs and not just the quads and the glutes and the hamstrings. And again, to start into the squat position, you will pull up the bar, you look straight in front of you, core tight, you're going all the way up, all the way up, right until you hit the knees. And this is when you explode and bring it up. To rack it, it's really sitting on your front delt, shoulders high up, and your wrists are down. If it's bothering your wrist, you can spread your fingers over. This is a very light grip. We initiate it by tightening the core, driving through the heels, and we're squatting back down, sh shoulders, shoulders back and away from the ears. Elbows high, parallel to the floor, driving through the heels, bring yourself up, squeeze the glutes. We inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. So this will be our squat. To do the reverse pull up, you can either do it with a false grip or you can just do a regular reverse pull up. Training with a false grip will help you for the muscle ups and getting used to that position. Again, you can elevate your feet, they'll make it harder. Or you can do it in the tabletop. And what you're doing is you're focusing on bringing it in. And with a false grip, you're putting the ring right over here on the bone. So what you're trying to do, you're trying to bring it straight towards the chest. As you see, I'm still working on those. Okay. So you're doing four rounds, 15 reps each, and make sure that you're staying with good posture. If you cannot hold your if you, if you cannot hold the position any longer, really take down the weight and evaluate where you are in the max reps. For the deadlift, um, feet are slightly shoulder width apart. When we go down, take your hands and just slide them on your thighs. Right where you reach your knees, this is when you start the squat. You grab it slightly wider. The bar should be above your laces in the top position. So when you have the weights, you will see that it will be right above the lace part or the, or the Velcro part in case if you're wearing Vibrams. And for the entire position, you have to make sure that you're really clearing the knees. So at this point, the hands are shoulder width apart. Again, we're sliding down, sliding down, picking the weight up, getting to the position, weights in the heels. We're going up, we're sliding, sliding down the chin, and up. Again, we're initiating 
it back down. As you notice, my hips are going back. Now that I've cleared the knees, this is where I'm starting the squat piece, just very similar to the front squat. And as you're looking, as you can see, my hands are always clearing the knees. And make sure that the bar is sliding on your thighs the entire movement. This is really one of the main points to get the most out of your exercise. And when you're down, just press it back down. And now going to the second part of the superset, this will be the elevated push-ups. If you're just a beginner, you can do it on the knees, or you can just do it straight off the floor. My shoulders should be your shoulders should be directly over your over your wrists, and you're really pressing into the ground to gain that support. So the entire focus on pressing the entire palm of your hand. This will really help you with the pushing motion. And whenever you're pushing, you're always initiating from the top of upper your back. So this is your rhomboids. Uh, and we're retracting and depressing the scapula and bringing it all in. So elbows, I ended up parallel with your, with your torso. Well, this is it. Let me know what you think. Um, if you want any ideas for the workouts or healthy recipes, check out www.sfe.com. Until next time.